What is up, everyone? RFTV here. I'm bringing y'all a follow-up to really my first YouTube video that actually got big and kind of got me into all of this, um, and that's how to get NCAA 14 on your PC playing on the RPCS3 emulator. I went ahead and installed the College Football Revamped mod, and I'm here to show y'all how to do it. It's very simple. I just followed the instructions that were given to me by the people themselves. But let's just jump into it real quick, show you what we got. They got all the names. The players are upgraded. Mac Jones, looking like a beast, 93 overall. These receivers are looking awesome too. Devontae Smith had a 98 overall. They, you know, these are all upgraded from you know where they were before, but this man is just a beast. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into a quick game, and then I'll show y'all how it's actually like how everything actually happens, like how you get it on here. So first off, you guys have to, to get the game on your computer. If you don't know how to do that, then check out my other video that I have got. Um, let's see what we're going to do here. Let's put it as a clear night, 8 p.m., a little windy, perfect for the national championship game. All right. If you guys don't know how to get this game on to your system, you need to go ahead and watch my previous video. It's going to walk you through getting RPCS3 hooked up to your computer and then downloading the actual base game file. After you do that, you need to go ahead and actually install the mod. We'll get into that after I, you know, I kind of go through this, but as y'all can see, the field is black. There, there is an upgrade, uh, you know, a way to fix that. It's one of the settings in your um, RPCS3 itself. I'll show you how to fix that. It's, it's very simple, but you can see here we got that clean new look on the bottom. Everything is looking good. We're here at Bryant Denny Stadium looking good. I just forgot to change that setting that's going to go ahead and make it so we can actually see. But the game runs very smoothly. Um, you know, I'm getting about like anywhere between like 30 to 60 FPS on it. Um, but it really just varies a little bit. But that is what it is. Let's go ahead and jump into getting this set up on your system itself. So, a couple things you have to do. First off, like I said before, you have to get RPCS3 on your computer. Very easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and get that pulled up here and show you how it's done. Very, very simple. But you want to get into RPCS3 here. You want to go to download. You want to go ahead and download it for Windows. You also want to come to your quick start here and download the system software. That's going to be very important. Um, to get the game file, check out my description, the Discord in the description. That's what you're going to have to do. Um, but basically, you're going to want to get this. It's very easy to get. You're also going to want to end up getting your file for the actual like package installer that you're going to use to drag into RPCS3 to actually put in the mod itself. That's how you, that's going to have to work. And you, you actually put in like the package installer, and that installs the mod actually is kind of how it works. So it's pretty simple to do. Again, all of this is going to be in the description for you guys. But basically, as you can see here, I've got this. This is the easy installer. You're going to get NCAA 14 into your RPCS3. I recommend a clean, fresh download, and you drag this over. This takes a little while, so I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Basically, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to drag that through. But before you get too far in it, you actually need to come into your RPCS3 folder get into you where it is you're going to go to disk and you're going to put it in the disk folder you're going to put this whole file that you get from the download from my discord into this disk folder that's where it's going to go that's where it belongs and within this it's got the ps3 game you see it's got the icon it's got the picture all this stuff like this is all because of that installer but basically you're going to get that download file that you're going to get from my discord you're going to come into your rpcs3 folder that's dev underscore hdd0 you're going to go to the disk and you're going to drag the folder right here. After you've done that, you're going to then come back again and you're going to put in that file that I told you all before, this easy installer. You're going to drag that into RPCS3. And once you've done that, it takes some time to run through it, but that's you're going to have the you're going to have it. It's it's really simple. Um, again, guys, everything that you need is going to be in the description to this video. So we're not going to get really into like playing the game right now. Like I'm really just trying to keep this simple, show y'all how it's done. But again, let's go over it again, just so you guys are aware. Get the download from our RPCS3's website. You're going to hit download. You want to download it for Windows. You also want to come through and do the quick start. 
and you want to get the system software. You want to get the, the C++ too. I already have that. Basically, the system software is like the PlayStation operating system, like where it is. So that's that's what you're going to want to do. See, my, my game is already on the correct version and everything. Like Everything is where it needs to be. Um, the game is going to play just like it should. Again, we've got that black field issue, but that is really not an issue. That's something that we can take care of very easily. But overall, guys, I mean, it's, it's really a simple thing. You know, I'm going to let it kind of run through here. Let's we'll let this, this package installer go just so y'all can kind of see how it, how it works. But that's what you have to do. Just drag that into it and you're going to be good to go. <sighs> but another thing we need to do as well I'm just going to cancel this. We need to go into our configuration. No, it doesn't like when you cancel. I forgot. Got to change this. Um, but we, you want to go through and actually change a couple of these settings in your configuration here. It, it takes some time. It is, this I should not have canceled that. Um, but that's kind of what I like to do. I didn't want to have it running through again. Um, you know, that's just kind of what happens with RPCS3. It's gonna, we're going to close the app on it. Whenever you kind of disturb it in the middle of something, it's like, oh, hold on, what did you just do there? So that's what we're going to work on. Does not like me. It's not responding. I'm trying to get it to close out, but we'll be fine. Oh, right. There we go. So it closed itself out. Let's open this back up. A couple things you guys want to do. For your gamepad, I'm using the Xbox controller, so it's X input. If you're using a DualShock or whatever, just match it up. I'm using the Xbox controller. It works great. As you all can see, I've got it here. You can see down in this bottom corner, you see it moving. I mean, it's it's there. You can pull the trigger. It's, it's, it's recognizing everything. So very simple to do. Um, that's my player one controller. I don't have a player two controller set up. Um, that's it's very simple to do. We want to come into your configuration settings here, um, into your GPU. This is what I have. I have 69. This is the settings that I use. I would leave it on 720 like this and leave it windowed. Um, there's really no reason to not use it in windowed mode because it just tends the game tends to struggle if you don't have it on windowed mode. To be honest, um, that's kind of really what I have found that it just it just struggles if it's not in windowed mode. But it's I mean it, it's an, an emulator for a game here. I mean, it is, it is what it is. It's nothing that we can really do about it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's really all we can do. It's, the audio is messed up. I mean, we're playing on an emulator. It's not going to be great. You know, the, the best method for playing this is going to be on your system itself, for sure. You know, I'm going to go into a video on that as well. But for now, I'm showing you guys on RPCS3. Basically, let's run through it again. Get the game, and you're going to get the game from my Discord. Fresh install of RPCS3. Make sure you put in everything that you need for it. Adjust your settings, all of that fun stuff, and then just drag in that package installer, and it's going to go. It's it's really easy. It's really just a matter of dragging that package installer in once you've got everything set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to put up another video a little bit later down the line, kind of with the Xbox 360 version. If I can get that to work, I haven't even tried that yet, but I want to try it. Um, again, if you guys have questions, please go to my Discord. That's where everything is answered in the Discord. Don't leave comments. Just go to the Discord. That's where everything happens. I appreciate you guys coming in and look forward to seeing y'all next time.